Hello people, my name is Victor Ademofe. In this video, I want to share with you how to make your improvisation memorable. And many times when people are given the opportunity to improvise, what they try to do is to churn out loads and loads of phrases and leaks that they have gathered over the years from masters by ruling them after one after the other. And that is not bad in itself, but that may not make your solo memorable. I mean, if you study the works of masters, you'll see that every solo they play for every song, it's as if the thoughts, the things are connecting. There's a connection of these thoughts. Many of the lines they play, after one, it leads to another one. So there is a progression in their solo. So I'll be sharing with you what I adopt and what I think if you do, may also help you to play in a more cleverly constructed, cleverly structured uh, way and manner. All right, before we do that, let's talk about what improvisation is. Because many people think improvisation is just only a time for show off. Yes, it's a time to demonstrate. It's a time to show off, if I can say that in a way. But improvisation is an expression. It's an expression of your thoughts is an expression of your ideas. Uh, improvisation is basically a restatement of the melody in a more diversified way that further buttresses the uh, total idea or the melody. Improvisation is to improve on the melody. Improvisation is to play without preparation. It's like an expression without, imp without preparation is an expression that is spontaneous. Improvisation has parts. We call this parts of improvisation. Every well-constructed and structured improvisation must have three parts. It has an introduction, which is the beginning. It must have uh, a development, which is the middle, and it must have a conclusion, which is an end. So what I adopt uh, for my improvisation is I adopt the storytelling approach as one of the ways or one of the approaches I use for my improvisation. The storytelling approach. And I try to figure out the elements of a story anytime I'm trying to improvise. There must be a character. Uh, this is imaginary. As if you are telling the story of a man or a woman or a thing or a place. I mean, it's imaginary. There must be a character. Uh, sometimes it can be a story of yourself. And two, there's a setting, there's a location and time where these things happened. Uh, three, there's a plot, which is the actual story itself and the order of events, how the story unfolds. There's a conflict, which is a struggle between two things, and the intention of the character is to be able to solve the conflict. And lastly is the resolution. Resolution is the solution to the problem. You must provide solution to the problem. So I use this technique in my improvisation. Many are other techniques that I also use and approaches that I use, but this really is one of the strongest things that I use because it helps the solos to be well-structured, well-organized, it's singable, especially when you're playing African music or I like music, when you're playing jazz, when you're playing some other kind of music where improvisation is really necessary. All right. I will allow you to watch a video, a live performance that I did a few months back. This buttress is everything I've said. When you listen to it, you see, I mean, these things I've talked about, the storytelling approach in as the flow. Okay, before you watch that, if you have not subscribed to this channel and you want to get more, you want to be notified on the new videos that I put out, just click on this subscribe button and you get notification on any time I put up another video.